let's take a look at adding 2 plus 3i, put this in parentheses so we distinguish, plus negative 5 plus 4i. Now, first we're going to graph 2 plus 3i. Okay, so it's to the right 2 and up 3. Now, if I were to graph negative 5 plus 4i, I would go left 5 and up 4. But since I'm adding it to 2 plus 3i, I'm going to go to the left 5 from there and up 4. So that's me adding negative 5 plus 4i to 2 plus 3i. So the question is, what's the answer? Well, the answer is going to be the complex number from the origin here. So that is left 3 and up 7. So this answer here is negative 3 plus 7i. Now, how could I figure that out algebraically? Well, your instinct should tell you that you should add the real parts and then add the imaginary parts. And there we go, we get negative 3 plus 7i. Okay, so let's take a look at a subtraction one. Now once I write it, your instinct should be able to tell you what the answer is going to be. Take 2 plus 3i, we'll subtract 4 minus 5i. Okay, so you should be thinking, maybe you want to write down on your paper what you are pretty sure that the answer is. Now in this case, since I'm doing something graphically, I would think I would like to think of subtraction as another form of addition. So I could rewrite this as 2 plus 3i plus negative 4 plus 5i. Okay, so what I did there, I just added the opposite values, right, because I sort of distributed my negative. So here's 2 plus 3i, okay, and from there I'm going to add negative 4 plus 5i. So from this point, I'm going to go left 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, up 5, one, two. I'm going to stop right here, okay? So my resultant complex number coming from the origin is going to be left 2 and up 8. Which I'm hoping is what you put down on your paper because 2 minus 4 is negative 2 and 3i minus a negative 5i is 8i. So your resultant vector is negative 2 plus 8i. Okay, good luck everybody.